Number 20. Rank the indicated bonds in order of decreasing bond length. So all of the bonds that we're looking at are single bonds. Which single bond is going to be the longest? Is it number one, number two, three, four, or five? How can we compare one single bond with another single bond? Well, let's go back to our example with ethane and acetylene which is ethine. So ethane has a carbon-carbon single bond. Acetylene has a carbon-carbon triple bond. And we know triple bonds are shorter than single bonds. But now let's include hybridization into the discussion. If we look at what type of orbitals are overlapping to form the sync the single bond or the sigma bond. These are sp3 hybrid orbitals. Each carbon in ethane is sp3 hybridized. There's no pi bonds. Now in acetylene, we have a triple bond, which means those two carbons are part of, you know, they both have two pi bonds. So for one pi bond, it's sp2 hybridized, but for two pi bonds, it's sp hybridized. So the triple bond is formed from the overlap of two sp hybrid orbitals. Now, how much s character is in an sp3 hybrid orbital? So to make an sp3 hybrid orbital, we've combined one s orbital with three p orbitals. So we have one s out of a total of four orbitals. One out of four is 0.25 or 25%. So an sp3 hybrid orbital has 25% s character and it's 75% p. Now an sp hybrid orbital, it's a hybrid of 1s, 1p. So one out of two orbitals, it's 50% s and 50% p. So the reason, or one of the reasons why Acetylene is a shorter bond. Let me say this again. The reason why a triple bond is shorter than a single bond is because it has more S character. Now we have to be comparing atoms in the same row because if you're comparing an atom in a different row, like iodine versus fluorine, now you're looking at different energy levels. Fluorine is in the second energy level, iodine is in the, the fifth energy level, and so that's a whole different story. But here, we're looking at carbon atoms in the same row of the periodic table. So when comparing elements in the same row that are close to each other, we need to look at S character. The more S character there is, the shorter the bond is going to be, and the stronger the bond will be as well. Now the reason is that the S orbital is closer to the nucleus than the p orbital. So that's why as the s character increases, the bond strength will increase, but the bond length will decrease. And that's how we're going to figure out which one of the single bonds is the longest and which one is the shortest. The shortest ones have more s character. The longer ones have less air less S character or more P character. So we need to determine the orbital overlap of each bond. In other words, the hybridization of the atoms that make that bond. Now, for those of you who are interested in getting the full video with all 90 practice problems, feel free to check the description section below this video. So this is an sp3 hybrid, hybridized carbon. This is an sp2 carbon. This is sp2. The triple bonds, they're associated with sp hybridized carbons. And the last ones, the CH2 and the CH3 carbons, those are sp3 hybridized. So 
So bond number one, it's formed from the overlap of an sp3 hybrid orbital and an sp2 hybrid orbital. Now this single bond number two is formed from the overlap of an sp2 hybrid orbital and an sp hybrid orbital. For number three, it's spsp. Number four, spsp3. And number five, sp3, sp3. So remember, the more s character that we have, the shorter the bond. So s is going to be shorter than sp, which will be shorter than sp2. And sp3 is going to be associated with the longest bond length. So this one, this is going to be the longest because it's all sp3. We don't have s, so we don't have to worry about that. sp, sp, that's going to be the shortest. So we want to rank this in order of decrease in bond length. So we want to go from the longest to the shortest. So the longest is bond number five. That's longer. Which one is the second longest? Is it one, two, or four? What would you say? Well, it's definitely not going to be number two because it doesn't have anything to do with sp3. So if we compare sp3, sp2, and sp, sp3, which one's going to win? Well, these sp3s are the same. So we're comparing sp2 with sp. sp2 is longer than sp. So the second longest one is going to be number one. And then if we compare number two and number four, which one is longer? Well, sp is the same. So comparing sp3 with sp2, sp3 will be longer. So bond number four is longer than bond number two. And we know bond number three is the shortest. So that's how we could rank it in order of decrease in bond length. We have number five being the longest. Number one is the second longest. Number four is the third longest. And then number two and number three is the shortest. So that's it for number 20.